Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Kale. I'm a pastor and missionary, and we are currently in the middle of a series of tutorials on how to use the free Bible study software eSword. We've already done many videos on this subject, so I encourage you to go back and watch those. But today we're going to be seeing how to use a different resource within eSword. And so you need to know how to download it and how to access it. If you don't, make sure you go back and check out those other videos about how to download free resources in eSword. But today, we're going to be taking a look at a little bonus resource. I've already told you guys that my top three favorite resources for studying the Bible are a Strong's Concordance, the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge, and Noah Webster's 1828 Dictionary. But another reference that a lot of people use when they're studying dispensationalism or different things is Clarence Larkin's Dispensational Truth. Now, hopefully you've got that book on your shelf. If you don't, go and buy it right now because it's full of good commentary and other uh, the, the most amazing thing that Clarence Larkin was known for as an engineer in the early 20th century was his amazing charts, technically detailed, hand-drawn charts, where he tried to put into illustration uh, different things in the Bible and help us to understand things better. He did a great job of it, and they're great resources. You know, it's not infallible, it's not perfect like any commentary or resource, but it has great valuable information. And since it's over 100 years old, it's in the public domain, and we can actually access those charts and the commentary in eSword. So let's check that out. Okay, so we've got our eSword program open right here, and we're going to be navigating to something that we've only seen one time in these tutorials, and not something that I have docked to my windows. I've got my dictionaries over here. Put that back. I've got my Bible in the center. I've got commentaries over here, and the editor down here. We'll see that in another video. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to Tools in the top menu. And we're going to go down here to Graphics Viewer. Now, Reference Library, we're not going to really get into that. We touched on it when we saw in the video about downloading resources that this is where you would actually view books that you've downloaded, like Fox's Book of Martyrs. You could view that in your Reference Library. Today, for these Larkin charts, we're going to go to the Graphics Viewer. Now, in the graphics viewer, I'm going to see different things that have pictures and illustrations that I've downloaded. I've downloaded this classic map thing here, and I can go over to the right side and see these different maps. There's Jerusalem, there's Palestine, and I can also go to this American Bible Society map book that I've downloaded and see all these different things. Here's Jerusalem in Old Testament times. Really cool. But now I'm going to go to Larkin, this Larkin tab, and these are going to be Larkin charts from Dispensational Truth, right? And so this first thing, this first chart is called the ages as viewed from different standpoints. And so if I, you know, I can maximize this here and kind of get rid of the commentary just so I see the whole chart here. Not all the charts have commentary, but if they do have commentary, you can maximize this. You can see his commentary from the book over there. But for now, let's just look at the chart. So I've got this chart here. This is in the public domain, so I can use this and print it and use it in my Bible teaching classes as much as I want. And I can zoom in, of course, if I click on the plus button up here and try to read some of these, uh, these handwriting, which is just amazing, man. That back in the early 1900s, see this one was published in May 1st, 1914. It is copyrighted, but because it's over 100 years old, it's now in the public domain. And I can actually see these references in the explanation of the chart. But his explanations usually are also in the commentary if he's included commentary in the book. And so you can read that. If I pull this back out, we can read his commentary off to the right-hand side. Now, let's look for other things, right? If I go down, go to my drop-down menu, oh, look, here's all of the charts that he's got in that book, right? So we've got the, the mysteries. Check that out. Let's study the mysteries here, right? So if you're not aware of the seven mysteries in the Bible, go get your search feature in eSword and search the word mystery in the New Testament. You'll find the seven mysteries in the New Testament, the incarnation, the mystery of godliness, often called the divine indwelling, the indwelling of the Lord Jesus Christ in the New Testament believer. You've got all of these mysteries and he lays them out in a cool chart and he tries to help us out, right? Now, let's look at some of these other charts here, the signs of the times. His cool charts are always these uh, end times ones, right? So you've got the tribulation, the, uh, uh, the revelation, you've got the second coming, the millennium, awesome cool things, awesome dispensational charts, right? Uh, Daniel 70 weeks, check that out. So this, you know, the, uh, um, the image from the dream here. Very cool. He's got the references. He's got timelines. If you're not aware of, of Clarence Larkin, um, 
man, you, you got to have dispensational truth on your bookshelf, but this is a great way to have instant access to all of these charts that he has on your computer for reference. It's a fantastic way to view it. This is the way you can view Larkin's charts. And if you have any other, like I said, illustrations or graphics downloaded into eSword, you can view them right here in the graphics viewer. Thanks for watching, guys. I know that was a short video, just a little bonus there on the resources that are available within eSword. A lot of people don't know that you can have Larkin charts right within eSword for free, so I just wanted to make sure you know how to do that. Um, let me know in the comments if you knew about Clarence Larkin. Uh, I, I I love Larkin's charts. There's I don't agree with him on everything that he's taught, but that's okay because we know that the Bible's infallible. None of us are perfect, but that's okay. We can learn from each other and especially these great men of old who have uh, recorded so many good thoughts and insights into the Bible for us. And so that is how you use Larkin charts in eSword. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to continue in this series of eSword tutorials next time. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. Thank you for watching. Until next time, God bless.